Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Last time when we left off, we were still in Chapter 1-1. We had just, uh... We just cleared out the farm and saved at this typewriter. Now we are ready to advance. Still only one way we can go, so let's go that way. I've seen this signpost before. It's hard to do QTEs with a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> it's alright, let's try again. There we go. That went better. Now, because I like to max out my kill count. I can say you can uh, you can backtrack a little bit. Get a couple of extra kills. on that bridge there. And then you can run back up to the top of the path, but you don't see anything or get anything for it. And with those two extra kills in hand, let's continue forward. Inside this tunnel, we can shoot two spinels off the ceiling. will benefit greatly if we can manage to shoot the dynamite in the hands of these guys before they see us and start lighting it. Like that. Aeon has trouble aiming, keeping his aim steady at these distances, but... Well, I can probably move forward a little now. Make this at least a bit easier on myself. Come on! There we got him. Okay. Again, the same signpost. I think we can get this what guy through here too. Should be able to anyway. Damn it, come on! Not quite what I was after, but I suppose it'll do. Be 
careful of the bear traps on the ground out here. Thought I heard more dynamite. Doors nailed shut. Now right, you'll notice the creep. Well, I was about to say the creepy music stopped, but that turns out not to be true. But I think we've killed everyone, so we can move along now, which is good. Inside this shack, we've got another spinel and some money. Another bear trap to disarm. still more bear traps out here, but I guess I could be wrong. Now inside this house, we've got a bunch of old books, some shotgun shells, and a hand grenade that we'll definitely want. Before going into this house, make sure you spot and shoot that bird's nest. And we get a red cat's eye, which is our first uh, combinable bit of treasure. The red cat's eye is one of three gems that pairs with the beer stein. one little breakable box over here and we get a little more money out of it. My ammo. I'm doing pretty well for the end of the first chapter. Alright. Now if you kick, you get that door open. Game will give us a save room. Let's take the handgun bullets. Open the cabinet for some money. We could save here, but there's really no reason. As we come in here... more bombs to disarm. Inside this cabinet we get a green herb. On the table we get some money.
And now here in the very back, we can open the cabinet that's banging. Ah, a little rough, don't you think? You're not like them? No. You? Okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Apparently the village chief is quite strong. But there is the end of chapter 1 Nash 1. Hit ratio 80%. I'm fairly happy with that. Killed 30 enemies and we died twice. This is why there was no need to use the typewriter, because we get an end of chapter save. Let's keep going. This video is only 10 minutes long right now. Feeble humans. Let us give you our power. I'm unable to resist this intoxicating power. <clears throat> hey, hey, wake up. Yay, uh, yay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. <laughs> Then who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <sighs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not dying. Do something, cop! After you! Now! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No. But apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. All right. 
But here in the room we start in, we've got some handgun ammo. And now comes the introduction of, for me at least, even though this is the only game he appears in, one of the most iconic characters in the series. Over here, stranger. So on our way out, we get some rifle ammo and a typewriter, which I'm not going to mess with right now. There's no need. If we wander over here, there's a green herb. And now we can wander around back. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Don't know if you noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you've shot ten or more of them. I've got a specialized gun I want you to try out. All right, what so are you selling? I always like to start with selling. Uh, the beer stein's not complete. It's missing two gemstones, so we aren't going to sell it yet. We will, however, sell the pearl pendant. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. The ruby. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. And all seven of our spinels. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to hold on to everything else for the moment. So let's see what he's got for sale. What are you buying? He's got a medium attaché case, which I do want to go ahead and buy. That's... Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. It's going to expand our inventory. There's no need for the village treasure map. I'm not going to buy the rifle. I'm going to wait until the semi-automatic's available. And uh, I'm not going to buy the TMP. And I never buy rocket launchers either. So he actually doesn't have anything I want to buy. What are you buying? For tune-up... He can power up our handgun, our shotgun, or our rifle, but none of these are the final versions I'm going to use, and I don't like to spend any money tuning weapons up until I get to the final version of that I actually want to fully upgrade for the end game. So we're not going to buy anything besides the attaché case right now. Uh, those extra bo inventory boxes are going to come in handy, and we are also going to start collecting rifle ammo. It's just going to sit in our inventory, I guess until we get to the castle, because that's where he sells the semi-automatic rifle. Alright, we got a red herb. Let's go ahead and mix it up. And now, simply because... I'm ready to head out here and start the fight. We're going to have a big fight against a lot of villagers, and there are two schools of thought here. You can, um... Good night. 
It's a good idea to stand right about here. Because the dynamite guys will fuck themselves up. what I wanted. Alright, so that little bit of health we're missing, that's about perfect for a white chicken egg, so I'm going to go ahead and use one. So we got another dynamite guy coming. If we're lucky, he'll kill the he'll kill the two in front of him with a bad throw. Just like that. like anyone else is coming for now. <clears throat> so let's head over here to this hut. That didn't exactly go well. I'm gonna use my uh, full mix with the yellow herb, and as you can see, my max health actually increased just a little bit. None of them actually dropped anything. Alright, let's go up there first.
be done spawning guys, but not yet. <laughs> On the way. Yes. I think that's the last guy it's going to spawn, though. Then when the music stops, you know you've basically cleared the area out. So... Now that things have calmed down, let's go looting. Let's start with this building here. First we'll curve around behind it. Barrel turns out to be empty. Oh well. Hop up onto the roof. We get some money. And then, importantly, in this chest over here, we get the right half of an emblem. Now we can drop down and actually check out the building. <clears throat> and here on the shelf we've got five shotgun shells. We move into the room, we get handgun bullets. Inside the locker, there's a flash grenade. back up here. It's my inventory. Still doing pretty well. Got a nice stash of handgun and shotgun ammo. Have a healthy supply of healing items too. That's about all you can really hope for. Right, so we got five rifle bullets, some ammo, some money, I mean. And the other half of the emblem. So now if we go up to Keys and Treasures, we can, of course, combine the two emblem halves to get a hexagonal emblem. Drop down a couple times. That's the exit, but we've got this last building here that we want to check out first. Couple of barrels here, each drop money. If we go inside, we get a yellow herb. I'll immediately add to one of my mixes.
And more money. And finally, if we go up to the very top here... We get more shotgun ammo. Now we go up to this door. We can use the hexagonal emblem to get out. Before going through that door, let's make sure we check all the breakable barrels here outside. Little money's always good. Looking through the rebar, you see that shiny mask. We can't get there from here, but we'll get our hands on it soon enough. Now, I'm out of my little healings. I don't like to use straight up green herbs, so <clears throat> I'll sit on that damage and wait to take more. Now, this room is tricky. Go ahead and break the glass if you can. Basically, you just need to manage to swat some of the dynamite out of midair. to disarm the bear traps. You gotta move kind of fast. Oh, and I did miss it. The items that the dynamite guys dropped disappeared because it took me too long. You don't, you really don't want that, but it can, it, it's a little unavoidable here. That's all right. There's handgun ammo in the right furnace. There's a spinel in the left furnace, so we certainly want both of those. Some money back here that thankfully did not disappear. And 
And then note the boards here, which we can break in order to pick up the elegant mask. We're going to be holding on to that for a while, because like the beer stein, it combines with three different gems in order to reach its full potential value. So we got barrels in this room. I actually am going to go ahead and just use that green herb to get back to full health. last villager to deal with. You want to jump down to this pool first. Now, I don't have the inventory space to really mess with them, but first pick up the handgun ammo, the flash grenade, and the money that are down here. And so you know, if you have a lot of inventory space, you know, for example, you've used more healing than I have, so you're got spare space in the case, you can kill the fish that are running around down here and carry them with you as healing items. Like I said, I'm not going to bother because the small fish heal. They heal about the same as a brown chicken egg, a little more than a green herb, but they take up three inventory spaces. And the big fish is a full heal, but it takes up a whopping eight inventory spaces. So it's not worth it to me. While we're up here, very first thing you want to do is shoot the three crows. And you want to shoot the one closest to you first. So the others don't get scared and leave. That was kind of a stupid rookie mistake on my part. There are two bear traps in the road. Disarm those before you collect your little bit of loot. And now we got the same thing here that we saw back at the farm. Shoot the wood first, and then you can drop the treasure, which turns out to be a brass pocket watch. Does this signpost mean more booby traps? How perceptive, Leon. That's exactly what it means. Alright, so if we head into this shack, we got some money, and some more money. Awesome. It's a large crystal ball. It looks like it rotates. Which way will you turn it? Just turn it up and left, and you'll make that symbol we've been seeing everywhere. Something activated. Open the desk drawer, there's handgun ammo. An insignia key. Pesetas, more money. And on the bed, Oh wait, they're all textbooks written in English, but I don't have time to read them. Then on the bed, Chief's Note. <clears throat> 
As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement, alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together, as has been ordered. I don't expect Luis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. <laughs> If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. All right, let's keep going. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood? And that's the end of chapter 1-2. I had exactly an 80% hit ratio again. 50 enemies killed and I didn't die. Awesome. That's actually not... <clears throat> Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. Alright, I was about to say, we still haven't been going an hour, so we'll keep playing for now. So if we turn around and pop this cabinet open, we get another green herb. Let's go right back into the bedroom. Like an idiot. <laughs> Woman in red, somehow so familiar. So now we can head on downstairs. This must be a painting of that church. I hope Ashley's still okay. Free easy kill down here. Looks like they use toilets. Guess they're at least somewhat civilized. Check. Looks like the people in this house eat like normal humans. Pop open the oven, you can get a brown chicken egg. Which is... I don't know, I find a little silly, but... Definitely useful. 
Definitely going to take it. It's a painting of a lake. Maybe it's around here somewhere. Break the glass back here for an incendiary grenade. It looks like the people here carry out their lives like ordinary people. They even read books. And don't miss this little cabinet with some more money in it. We won't be spending much money near the beginning, but toughing it out now will pay huge dividends down the line, I promise. I actually am going to save here. So we're about to have, not terrible, but a reasonably tough encounter. Actually, let me see what I have. I'm going to save my hand grenade, but I am going to equip my shotgun. Let's look what we have here. Let's go ahead and use my, uh full mix and raise my max health again. And we get another ruby for killing the chainsaw guy. Incendiary grenades are, for my money, the least useful of the three types. So uh, don't really feel compelled to hoard them. If you find something that's kind of strong, like that chainsaw guy, that's a great opportunity to use up your incendiaries. Anyway... As we head down this path... Note the, note the nest up there. Get the spinel that drops. Because the enemies get much tougher in the later games, so you'll want the more powerful guns and having the money to upgrade them will just turn out to be extremely helpful. You do want to hoard your flash grenades for reasons that will become apparent. Anyway, there's another bird nest here. Oh, I hate that. Bagged everybody. It wasn't too bad. So now we've unbarred the door. And we are back in the village. At this point, no new items have spawned. There's just a new batch of villagers to kill. Oh, 
Alright. Now this is a big enough cluster. I feel pretty good. About a hand grenade. Ah! Let's... Well, first let's organize a little. I'm gonna use my brown chicken egg. dead, but the music's still going. Look to the rooftops. I would have thought that was all of them. There's still one somewhere. Ah, there he is. Alright, that's everybody. Like I said, there are no new items, nothing has changed. So just go to this door, which we now have the key for. And yes, it's a save room. Got handgun ammo here. Not gonna save just yet. There's TMP ammo here. Shoot this red lamp. Wait for the fire to go away. And we get another spinel. Now we can pop this open. Jump down into a tunnel. shoot this red lamp which exposes three things on the ceiling there's an elegant headdress and two more spinels we want them all of course That box turns out to be empty, and the merchant makes another appearance. Got something that might interest you. Got a selection of good things. So, stranger, any luck with the blue medallions? Remember, shoot ten or more to get your specialized gun. What are you selling? Sorry, I'm not gonna buy the TMP, so. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I'll sell that ammo since it's useless to me. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Sell those five spinels. Uh, I. <laughs> Thank you. Sell the ruby. Sell the brass pocket uh, watch. <laughs> Thank you. Sell the elegant headdress. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Keep the beer stein and the elegant mask because they're still missing 
constituent parts. Now, if we go to the what buy list, buying? anything new will be glowing red, so he has added a stock for the TMP, which I don't care about. And that's actually it. And on the tune-up list, buying? there are new upgrades available for the TMP. Again, don't care. Now, we're about to the one hour mark, so at this point I'm actually going to jog back and use the typewriter in this area and end the video here.